What are the elements of a great website? Whether you are designing a new website or redesigning an old one, how are you going to make sure that you are getting the best investment of your time and money? So in this video, I'll be answering that big question along with other important questions that will help you save, that will help you save time and money. Hi, I'm Lewis from LMB Productions, and this channel is dedicated to helping make your brand and your website simply superior. Okay, first thing is storytelling. Um, I feel like a lot of businesses and even medium-sized businesses kind of get this a little confused sometimes. So what you see a lot of time in the branding of websites and small to medium sized businesses, a lot of the time it is, uh, it can be very complicated and they don't really use the power of story too often, especially in B2B. And I feel like that's a place of great opportunity, but I feel like to make it, to go even more specific, uh, a lot of times the business will position itself as the hero instead of the expert. Um, and what you, what, what you definitely want to do and what I've learned from one of my favorite books called Story Brand, a uh, fascinating book that really helps put story and uh, front and center and helps you communicate with clarity, communicate your, your, your message clearly to your audience, right? Um, and it all starts with the, the customer's journey to uh, and how they are going to use your service or product. And and um, and helps you communicate a, a more clear message. But I think what you can start off with thinking uh, very simply and can I think can make a huge difference is start thinking of yourself as the Obi Wan, right? The Obi Wan Kenobi, and you're helping Luke Skywalker. Okay, a lot of businesses uh, make themselves the Luke Skywalker or the hero. They, they make themselves a hero, Luke Skywalker coming in to save the day, instead of putting their customer front and center on their website. It's, I'm sure it's different in actual service, but a lot of times on the actual website, that's usually what happens. Um, so I thought that that, so that is one aspect of storytelling that I think could be uh, really beneficial, really, uh, really helpful when you are uh, developing it. Also, I will have a quick downloadable checklist for you uh, in the description below, and you can this this will it will have all of the elements along with a companion blog so that you can use it as reference, and it's a free downloadable checklist. Also, if you uh, would care, please please subscribe if you can. Hit the bell um, that way you can make sure to receive all updates um, accordingly and anytime we upload a future video. Building trust. So how do you build trust? Uh, a couple ways you, you do that is you do it through testimonials, you do it through reviews, Google reviews, um, Facebook reviews, Yelp reviews, of course, different types of reviews as well, um, and other factions, uh, other types of social proof, um, uh, along with testimonials, uh, video testimonials, and then there's uh, the you know your core values, your mission statement, uh, different principles, and the other big big factor in building trust is branding. Uh, and and we'll talk more about branding specifically, but your branding can absolutely be, have a tremendous impact on trust. Um, that to me that's like the other half and can be uh, can be a multiplier when it comes to things online. So those are a couple things to that I would say is that so that is a a, a really strong element um, and and building trust I would say is uh, is a big one. The navigation is one of the most important um, aspects of designing a website. It is architecture, the foundation of the skeleton of your website, if you will. I use uh, MindMeister personally to kind of plot out the the different like it's a mind map kind of thing. I like I'm a very visual person, so MindMeister is one of the tools. You can use Google Drawings. Uh, there's both free versions of that. Um, 
those are two different things that I, I like to use uh, to, to come up with the hierarchy of it. And I wanna also do a parallel, um, um, maybe something, a diagram to kind of help parallel different ideas so that hopefully that you can um, understand it better and it can make a, more sense and can be put in a more simpler way so that you can, you can help make it better uh, and understand how you can make the navigation better for your own website. Because what I feel like a lot of um, businesses do is that they're, it's either too cluttered, it's uh, you know, too clunky, there's, there's, it, it doesn't make sense, you know, so, and it doesn't, it seems a lot of times it doesn't have the end user in mind. It's, it's done just more of just a matter of fact way, um, instead of actually like, how can this be better for our client kind of way. So let's, let's get started here. So, and I hope you guys will be able to see this. So say we have the CEO of the business, right? So I'm going to be doing it in an org chart style, um, kind of like the architecture of a business. So hopefully it'll make a bit more sense and I'll connect the two. Okay. And then we have a, let's see, we have a CFO, then we have a CTO and a CMO, right? And then, so the CEO receives all, it handles all of the problems, right? And the CTO and the, the, the CFO and CMO, you know, we have the marketing and sales department here, finances, accounting, and the IT technical services and security. Just as an example, there's hundreds of different ways to organize a business, but it's done so, each business tries, tries to do it in a way to where it's synergistic for efficiency, right? So same thing with a website. So we have the CEO here working out the problems, helping develop the solutions with each of its departments. And a lot of, a lot of the problems uh, come through and, uh, and, and, are, and are solved through the C CEO and, and it works back and it's kind of like a feedback loop, right? And then we have the, let's look at a website. So here we have the homepage and let's say we have an about services blog contact, right? So there's a home about services blog contact. And it's very similar. So the user, the user will come through the home page, right? And that's a lot of times where the buck stops, which is very similar to CEO. And they'll, they'll go their own pattern. Maybe they'll go to the contact, right? If they want to contact you directly, or maybe they'll go um, straight to services to see, you know, what, what does this company do? Or maybe they want to learn more about your story and learn more about like what's actually behind the, the company. And so it creates that kind of feedback loop. Uh, I'm not saying this is how your website should be, but I want you to see the parallel in terms of how uh, each serves its own purpose uh, and it can be amplified in a way that can be very, very, very beneficial uh, to you guys uh, and to your specific department. And it could, because it, it depends on what you do and whether you're a service or a product of how things should be developed. But if you think about it in terms of how you are, how, how a business is, how a business is run and that, you know, the, the hero is the customer and putting the customer first then I feel like, it, especially online, I feel like it can be very, very beneficial. A proper layout is the bread and butter of your website. It can make drastic differences in so many things, everything from engagement to, uh, to actual watch time on a video, on a page, um, to, to different, to basically it, uh, how well you can communicate to the customer and whether they're going to stay on your website longer or not for the right reasons and whether they can help find their thing. So um, what is a layout? A, a layout is, you know, layout. Is, is how things are structured on the website, how it's, it's a part of design and it's how things are actually structured along the website, how the text 
the imagery and the and and video because you should always have video on the website is going to be and how how it's structured the way that that is served uh, it, it's helping communicate to the eye right of like how things how things are going to how effective it's going to be communicated that's why a lot of people say it's bread and butter